Hey guys, what's up? It's Mo hunting and we can do some Mo fishing. <laughs> anyway, I got to change my name still. It's still guns nut in here, but um, as soon as I can, I will, I will change it. All right, I'm going to do a quick tutorial for all the new players out there. Uh, and uh, I know Zaggy DK was asking for tutorials. I love doing tutorials on Fishing Planet. Um, I haven't done any because I changed sites and uh, all that stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get some up and uh, go from there. So anyway, um, I got a number eight hook. Uh, the smaller the hook, the bigger the number, usually. Um, I'll try to put a hook uh, guide in here somewhere. If I can find one that I won't get uh, copyright infringements from. Um, uh, and I'm fishing for panfish right now. This would be a panfish tutorial. All the small fish real quick I'm going to do. And then, uh, you could use, you know, whatever for panfish, bread, cheese, uh, pet food work sometimes. Uh, grasshoppers, just read here. It tells you what they're for, you know, just different stuff, you know, bluegill, uh, crappie, bluegill, pumpkin seed, shiner, carp, blah, blah, blah. All right. And then I just, I, I know my pole's newer than your guys' is, and I'm a higher level, but just use whatever, you know, bobber pole you can, and whatever reel you can, and hook up, you know, whatever else you can hook up. Uh, try to use at least six pound test on any rod if you can, because usually when you get it snagged, it's a bitch to get out, but uh, when you do get it snagged, you can uh, usually not break the line nine times out of ten. So, uh, that's always a plus. So, uh, that's what I'm running. I got this bobber right here. And, uh, the, just a little small sport bobber since we're only doing, uh, small fish for this tutorial. And, uh, I'll be doing a catfish one probably after I'm done doing this one, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. But, uh, panfish tutorial here. We're gonna get fishing. And, uh, let's see what we can get. I haven't played this in a while. And, uh, just to know, I leave my drag at three on most of my stuff and, uh, and whatnot. It just seems to work better for me that way. Um, especially if you're big, uh, fishing for big fish, you want your drag low, probably around two, maybe three. It depends. So you don't go in the red. Uh, I have the pro set up. Where I have three meters there. One's for my reel. One's for my rod. One's for the uh, fishing line. And you want to keep it out of the red. The more it stays in the red. You start to break break stuff. Like your line, your fishing pole, or your reel. So you don't want to do that. If at all possible. So, alright. Oh, and I think I have my... Hold on, we gotta look. Uh, I don't want to lie to y'all. Uh, inventory... And I, I got my uh, bobber set right now at 20 just for the panfish. I think you can go down to about, I don't know, 30, 35. Don't really remember, but usually about 20, 25, somewhere in there. Usually get some action really quick. And, uh, all right, here we go. I don't usually cast out that far. Um. I got a guy fishing next to me. That's so cool. Anyway, um, we're just going to fish here, and uh, let's see what we can get. I was using marshmallows, but I uh, might have to go all the way home to buy more. I guess I only had like one on me and I thought I had like a hundred and I did it. I got a bunch at home, but I don't want to travel back. So, uh, I'm just going to try the bread, uh, for now. And, uh, whoa, that was cool. A fish jumped over there. So anyway, okay, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. What I like to do is kind of play with it a little bit, kind of give it a little tug sometimes. Um, Kind of like to screw with them, you know. And sometimes they'll take it faster. Sometimes they won't. Alright, we got one. Got us a nice little uh, 
a nice little uh, bluegill. I need some money anyway, so I'm gonna just go ahead and keep it and uh, get back out there and see what else we can get here. Boy, they've done a lot of updates. I haven't played this in a while. Uh, I, I've been playing the Hunter and, and stuff like that. And uh, wow, they made a lot of changes on Fishing Planet, which I'm really happy about. They got some really cool stuff. Um, I still think it's weird that you can't buy any boots, but <laughs> you can wear boots. But yeah, so I don't know if I'm walking around barefoot or not, but... Um, the other changes I seen today when I when I got in here and uh, started fishing, which was really strange, is I'm seeing people fishing. Like there's a guy beside me. Uh, there was a guy across the lake earlier uh, fishing, which um, I thought was really cool because um, they've been talking about that for a while. Whoa, they've been talking about that for a while, but we never seen it happen. And I quit for a while, and bam, it's there again. And uh, they got it done, so that's awesome. I still think it'd be cool to go out in a kayak, though, and fish. <laughs> or something, that'd be kind of fun. Ah, I, I grabbed it too early. Alright, let's try again. I'm going to go out a little further. I don't want to go too far. How far am I? Ah, not too bad. Reel it in a bit. Um... Usually when I get out this far, I'll kind of let it drift and kind of just give it a little little one push there. And uh, just start bringing it in a little bit at a time. And sometimes you'll, uh, you'll get a bite right away. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do. You never know. All right. There. Ah, uh, uh. oh, he's playing with it. All right. Take it. Take it. You know you want it. Take it. Take it. Ah, struck too early. All right. Here we go again. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm a little out of practice, and and it's a little different um, since they changed a bunch of stuff. Like when I got back on here, I had to reset up all my gear um, and everything. It was all cha It was all at the house for some odd reason. I had to put all uh, gear, all my gear back in, and it's not even done. I just got tired of doing it because <laughs> I can carry quite a bit. And uh, so I set up like four poles and uh, went from there. All right, we got them. All right, we got us a nice little uh, another bluegill there. All right, I'm going to get, uh, let's, let's get one more bluegill or whatever I end up catching here. Let's get one more, and then I'm going to change the bait, and we're going to go a couple times and see if that makes a difference on what we catch. Um, since I haven't played in a while, I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure if they added new fish. It looks like they did. From what I read earlier, it sounded uh, kind of cool. So, uh, I don't know. Let's see. We're going to check it out and... Maybe I'll put some cheese on or something. Come on, take it. Come on, come on. Got your butt. All right, got me a nice little bluegill. All right, so let's switch our bait up. And uh, I just want to see if maybe we start catching something different. Uh, let's see, catfish, bullhead, red ear, sunfish. I don't know if red ear, sunfish is here or not. Crappie, bluegill, pumpkin seed. Hey, let's try the uh, red worms. All right, let's try some red worms. Is there a guy right there? Hey, what's up, Quinto? Quinto, Quinton69. Here, I'm going to cast in front of him, see if he sees me. Mess with him. He's just been standing there. I don't even know if he's fishing, to be honest with you. Kind of weird. Kind of strange that he's just standing there. 
Yeah. Let's see if I can remember how to make the uh, chat window disappear. I forget. Ah, oh, every time I go to do something, hold on. Uh, you press, shit, you press, uh, oh, there we go. Watch, I'll get a bite now. Minimize. There we go. Get that chat window out of the way there. Wow. I can't believe I missed that. I was trying to get the, the chat window moved there. And what you do to uh, move the chat window is you press uh, shift and uh, do the mouse and the little cog there. Minimize it as you've seen I did. If you didn't know. Um, oh, another good tip. F11, um, if you can't cast very far, you're just pitching it out there. F11 uh, will let you cast it further. Oh, wow. We got a black tail shiner. I'm going to go ahead and keep it just for the hell of it. Is this guy fishing now? Yeah, he's fishing. Yeah, that's cool. So, uh, let's see what else we get with this uh, red worms here. They seem to like that. They took it pretty quick, actually, which I was kind of surprised. I'm liking this new rod I bought. It's a Phoenix uh, something or another. Phoenix 4 810 or something like that. I don't remember. But uh, I, I'm liking it pretty good. Pretty nice little rod here. I got another bluegill. I wonder how, how many bluegill it takes to fill up 200 pounds of bluegill. Because <laughs> that's how big my keep net is. Oh, man. That would take forever to do that. Alright, let's see if we can get one more. And then I'm going to switch to a different bait. And see if we can pull out a different fish. Or if it's just going to be bluegill or not. Just, uh, oh, by the way, I'm at Songs of Summer on this map, if that helps you guys any. Um, I like fishing here. I do a lot of cat fishing here and a lot of uh, pan fishing and bass also, um, which I'll be doing tutorials of also. So stay tuned for those, and that'll be awesome. Aha, I got a black tail shiner. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and change the bait just... I just want to see if we're going to get anything different. All right. Let's see what we get. Maybe I'll uh, put the bobber down another couple inches and uh, see if that does anything. Just out of curiosity. It always drifts fairly fast on this map for some reason. Um, I also noticed uh, you could walk around a lot more uh, before you could only go to like Songs of Summer and you know the you could only this is like you could walk to your left a little bit and right here and that's as far as you could go. Now you could go a lot further which is uh, kind of cool. Well, something was biting it. Um, I don't know what they're going to bite. Or what's biting, I should say. <laughs> so we're going to see. We're going to see uh, what's going on. Oh, that was a fish jumping out there. That's, I think that's new. I've never seen him jump before. Oh, he caught a grass pickerel. That's cool. I didn't even know you could catch grass pickerel on this side of the map. That's pretty neat. Alright, you gonna bite? Or not gonna bite? Alright, I'm just gonna reel it in. I'm gonna cast it over this way a little ways. Let it drift back over. And, uh,. See if anything freaking happens.
<laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember if I mentioned that we are on the Missouri River at Songs of Summer. I know I mentioned that part, but I don't think I mentioned the Missouri River. I'm not sure, but uh, if I didn't, that's where I'm at. Looks like I'm getting a bite. Is it going to be a different fish or? Uh... Oh, man! I got too excited and pulled it in too fast, but. You just got to take your time. Sometimes <laughs> I am so out of practice on this. So, uh, let's see if we can get one more. Let's see if we can get one more bluegill or shiner or maybe. I, I, I think the hook's too small for a catfish to bite it. Um, probably could though if it's hungry enough because they do eat the cheese. I've never really had any luck with the cheese, be honest with you, but uh, you never know. All right, so they gonna buy it? I don't think so. All right, one more cast, do one more cast, and then uh. And then I think I'll end this basic tutorial on pan fishing. And I uh, hope it was uh, helpful to you, to the new players out there. If it was, leave a comment. I'd appreciate to hear from you. Hope you guys some, catch some good sized fish. And, uh, and have fun playing this game. This game's a blast. Oh, I got him. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got us a nice little bluegill, another bluegill. All right, guys, uh, go ahead and end this uh, tutorial. You guys have a blast, and uh, do some mo fishing. Talk to you guys later.